So what's the link between neck pain and headaches? Your head hurts, could it be coming from your neck? You may be surprised to learn that neck pain and headaches are tightly linked. A headache that starts from an issue in the neck is called a cervicogenic headache. A cervicogenic headache is characterized by a dull pain that radiates from the neck up the back of the head. It can also spread to the side uh, of the head and even to the front. Sometimes it can cause pain behind your eye too. Cervicogenic headaches are common if you spend long hours at a computer each day. Neck stiffness and tender muscles around your head and shoulders often come along with cervicogenic headaches because of the position uh, that many of us sit in uh, for long periods each day. That stress and strain on your upper back and neck muscles adds up. Without taking proactive steps to address the cause, you may notice that the headaches become more and more intense. How do you tell if it's a cervicogenic headache? Well, it will generally ease off if you lie down for about 20 minutes or more. Other types of headache often won't. Uh, also, headaches coming from the neck mostly don't throb, whereas other types of headache, like migraine, often do. So, keep this in mind. Cervicogenic headaches can be due to tightness in the shoulders, a stiff neck, or poor posture. Chiropractic adjustments can reduce the severity and frequency of headaches. Over 70% of people with cervicogenic headaches find significant relief with chiropractic adjustments. To break the cycle of daily cervicogenic headaches, you need to address the underlying causes. Staying well hydrated by drinking water, stretching every hour or so, and setting your workstation up ergonomically are all important to reduce your headache risk. If you still notice that headaches are bugging you, or you're experiencing neck pain or limited neck range of movement, then call us for a complete evaluation. We can create a plan of care to help you not only get well, but stay well. Thanks for watching.